Here we go, it's our delicious sushi cups. Spectacular. What's good, y'all? It's time for Mana for the Soul. I'm Neelong. I'm Amira. And I'm Ronica. And today we're making sushi cups. So we're gonna be actually working with jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is a great rice. Amira's gonna actually tell you about the jasmine rice while Neelong's gonna go ahead and start washing it. Yeah, so I was looking on Google earlier. Jasmine rice, which is my favorite rice, it supports digestive health, it says. And it also promotes healthy <laughs> oh my God. So what we're gonna actually do is two parts water and one part rice. So Nilam's gonna go ahead and start washing it. Make sure you wash your rice really well until the water comes out nice and clear. Because it's foggy right now. So now she's gonna go ahead and strain the rice, make sure the water comes out clear and it looks really clear right now. And that's perfect. So we can actually start cooking now. Nilam, go ahead and pour that in, cup of water. And we're gonna throw that on the stove. So follow the directions on the packaging of the rice, and it usually takes about 15 minutes, but the water should evaporate by then. Da-da-da. All right, let's look out the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get this meat clean because there's like a non-meat cleaning epidemic going on. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> in the world. I don't know why people don't wash their chicken. I'm just, I mean, try it. <laughs> we want to cut these salmon oh, pieces okay. into cubes. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Neelam's going to start cutting in nice cubes. About like an Satisfying. inch thick. Satisfying. Clean as you go. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Amir. Thanks, girl. Are these cubes too big or is it okay? No, I think it's perfect. Okay, good. Yeah. A few moments later. Because those are big. Should we just kind of use scissors to cut it real quick? Yes. Yeah. You want to keep them similar in size so when you're marinating, like it could actually all marinate at the same time to get all the flavor in. All right. This is satisfying. So what you're gonna do now is start to marinate, and we're gonna get all of our sauces out so you can actually see all the marinade and all the flavor that actually goes in. Marination, let's go. <laughs> I'll use this hand too. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna go start marinating. Amira has um, sesame seed oil. Doesn't it smell good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's using one teaspoon of sesame mm -hmm. seed oil, about a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and Nilam, do you wanna tell them what this is? This is Japanese mayo, and it got a baby on it. <laughs> but wait, what is it actually called? QP? QP mayo. Yeah. Yeah. It's called QP mayo, and it's actually a little bit sweeter, so um, we're gonna use QP mayo. Also, we're gonna use no soy soy sauce. No soy. Yeah. We're gonna use two tablespoons of that. Okay. Also, we have some lime juice. So you want um, two <laughs> tablespoons of that, so you could just actually, half a lime should be perfect. You can squeeze that directly in there. So actually, you wanna, um, Flip it around. Brown. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Go ahead and squeeze it directly in there. Yeah, get some muscle in there. Yes. <laughs> that was Dang, perfect. It smells good. Yeah. So you always have to put like lime or lemon on your salmon. Yeah. I feel like that's just like a rule. Well, what it does, it takes out the fishiness. Okay, right? that's what it is. Yeah. So you add like some type of citrus to kind of get that fishiness out. So go ahead and add all the rest of the ingredients. Yeah, it's gonna be so delicious. It has a lot of flavor, and you're just gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. That's all you gotta do. Massage it all together. Look. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but now it's like, yes. Yeah. So you can put this back in the refrigerator and let it sit for about 15 minutes. By the way, our rice is done, and Ronica shared with us a fun fact. Yes. So what you're gonna do after your rice is done and cooks for 15 minutes, you actually just wanna leave the lid on and let it sit Turning off the heat for about 10 minutes. And then you go fluff it with a fork afterwards. All right, here's the rice. It has been fluffed. Yay. Yummy. Perfect. To the sushi rice, we're gonna be adding some flavor. So what do you have, Nilam? All right, so I'm we so... have... <laughs> you okay? <laughs> like, this is heavy. <laughs> Your wrist is like... Oh. <laughs> so we have half um, a teaspoon of... <laughs> Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm sorry. We have half a teaspoon of salt and we have four teaspoons of sugar. And then here we have our rice vinegar. How much? It's only an eighth of a rice vinegar. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're going to mix it in together. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be sticky because we're making sushi rice. Right. Go ahead and put that in. Share the wealth. <laughs> so there you go. And yeah, I just want to go ahead and fluff it all together and mix it up. Have you guys ever put sugar in your rice? I do. 
Okay, I didn't had. Yeah, like Amir used to hate me for doing that. Really? Yeah, but I, there's a dessert that has that's like rice pudding and a yeah, yeah, like I don't know. rice. And uh, uh, people think that's blasphemous, but what? So, people like that. People I like love that. rice pudding. Really? Marquise yeah. be looking at me like, are you kidding me? It's like he's like salt, pepper. Okay, do you know what's weird that my Raphael looks at me kind of like? I warm up my cereal. <laughs> Tell me more. Like what? <laughs> yeah, I like warm cereal. So if it's well, like, so like when you say cereal, like name a cereal. So okay, so like raisin this. bran. Okay. And I like warm milk in it. Oh, I'm not mad. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that mad. Sounds okay. I guess. Yeah, like I thought something worse. <laughs> okay, like 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 Fruit Loops. Like you just like putting your cereal in the microwave and like what? <laughs> like, that's what I imagine. Yeah. yeah. This smells good. It okay, does. perfect. So now we're gonna get our seaweed nori sheets. Mind you, we was eating them like. Oh my god. <laughs> we have our cupcake pan tins, which is gonna make it really easy. No, no, no. <laughs> so go ahead and take your sushi seaweed roll or seaweed. These are like little seaweed snacks. They're like perfect. You can They're find them anywhere. Delicious. So good. This one's what is it? Roasted jerk or something like that? Yeah, I think it's just teriyaki like roasted teriyaki flavor. Yeah. yeah. And you're just gonna take some of the rice and actually just how the mirror is actually just kind of pasting on there. You can actually put it on the board okay. and paste it on there. Directly. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. just I like see, that. Kind of just put it on. Hated that. Yep. <laughs> Bring the um, salmon. It's been marinating. Yeah. It smells so good. Okay, so like our pieces are way too big. So all you're gonna do is just take some scissors and chop them up into small bite-sized pieces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I think that's good enough. You don't have to be perfect. Them. You can always correct. <laughs> so now we're gonna take one of these. All right. And place it in there. In our little coke cake. And this is like a Japanese multi-purpose uh, seasoning, furakake. Mm, I've never heard of it. Furakake, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Never heard of it. So it's actually just seaweed and sesame seeds and like a little seasoning. So you're doing, yeah, exactly. So just put those in the cup. But um, I cannot wait for this. Wait yeah. For this. So you want to sprinkle some on. Um, and pretty. actually, what I would do is put the salmon on top of it. Okay. Yeah. Two more pieces. Works. Yes. Perfect. Find a perfect little one. Yep. There you go. Yep. Okay. And yeah, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the cups. All right, you guys, what are your pet peeves while we're doing this? Your icks. Your icks. Icks? <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. A real ick for me, honestly, is when someone texts me and they're like, hi, or they text me and they say, assalamualaikum or they text me and they say, hey, and it doesn't follow up with what you want. Right, I think that's like spam, it, right? No, like I know people, personally, oh, who that. will be like, hi, or if someone they go, and it's really? like, what do you want? Like, really like if you text me that, I'm gonna leave you in red. Yeah. Until you say like, hey, what do you want? Can you this, or hey, what do you, you know, like ask the question, why are you just, Saying hi, like. Okay, do you feel the same way when somebody calls and doesn't leave a voicemail or a text message back? Oh yeah, well I don't you really know what? Voicemails anymore. I don't know why. Well, you <laughs> know what? I have this rule. Like, if you call me and you don't leave a voicemail or a text, it wasn't important. Come on, that's so, exactly how I feel. You should have did that. If you didn't, right? I'm like, mm, probably not gonna call back. Yeah. Unless you're like my inner circle. Yeah. I'll call you back, yeah, exactly. But I feel the same way. I was like, oh, it wasn't important, or it maybe it was a missed call. Right? Right. <laughs> but yeah, but now, or something. All right, Amir, what's your ick? My ick is every customer that comes in my job. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Love you girls. Um, no, but like. Amir works at a beauty supply. A lot of the customers, like, a big, like, fundo fundamental thing that we learned is, like, reading. And, like, people will be like, oh, like, where's the black one? And it's just like right there it says black like you know like, <laughs> like just little stuff like that and like people be wanting personal shoppers they be wanting to follow me to follow them around and like talk to them the whole time hmm. that's not my vibe so it's just kind of like <laughs> get what you need and get out and I'm that type of shopper where it's like I yeah. know what I want when I go somewhere that's so true I'm not yeah. having fun in a beauty supply for 
supporting you're president. You're just down to like, business. Yeah, like it's yeah. like yeah. I know what yeah. I want. So when people are just in there roaming, I'm like, do you think that's like an outlet Whoa. for somebody though? Yeah. A what? Probably. Like an outlet? Just yes, like, hold on. It is. Know. Some people have like, that, <laughs> but it's not for you though. <laughs> no, I don't get that. I used to have a friend that just would be like, let's just go to the mall and like just go like I walk around. I do shopping. not window shop. I, I do can't that. do that. I will be it doesn't at a make place sense when I'm buying something. What's a pet peeve of yours? I hate elevator talk. <laughs> I hate elevators. Right? Because <laughs> you get in there and it's like this awkward conversation and especially some folks would be like, ooh, you look nice. Yeah, I know. Where are you guys going? Yeah. I'm quick to get on my phone for no reason. <laughs> These look absolutely beautiful. They do. So cute. So we're gonna actually go ahead and bake these for about 15 minutes in a 400 degree oven. And the last two minutes, what I would recommend is push your oven on broil to get that nice crispy yes. top. Period. So let's go put this in the oven right now. Here we go. These are our baked sushi cups. It looks absolutely delicious. Here for it. All right, so we have some Persian cucumbers, sesame seed, avocado, furukachi. What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> furukachi. Furukachi. Never Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> and some ginger, my favorite. And we have some sriracha mayo that we made ourselves. And actually, Nilam, you put some lemon on the avocado. Okay. Keep it from browning. Exactly. Even though brown is good. Yeah. <laughs> so I just like to add some cucumbers for some crunch, some avocado, and a little bit of sesame seed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks so pretty, right? Yeah. And then we just, <sighs> yeah, okay. So we're gonna add some ginger. Nice little ginger peel. So like, do I bite into this? Like, how do I do Yeah. This? Yes. Eat All it. Right. You know I don't bite into things. I always have. I eat pizza with a fork. Yeah. Really? I don't bite into stuff. But <laughs> okay. Cheers. Oh my god. Ginger. What do you think? <laughs> It must be so good because she's not, she's like speechless. It is. <laughs> all right, we gotta top all of them because I can't watch this. <laughs> mm. Good? Yeah. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it good? All right, here we go. It's our delicious sushi cups. Our finished products. So amazing. Good. It's fire. It's Seriously. amazing. Fire and desire. Really make this, you guys. You'll love it and you'll impress people. Comment yeah. below if you want us to make something else and or what you want us to make or what you want us to chat about. Girl talk. Yeah. Subscribe, like, and comment. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Mana for the soul.